What's going on YouTube? Luke Photography Walker here with unboxing number five. Can't believe we're at number five already, halfway to ten. I'm pretty excited. Today's unboxing is going to be a little bit different. It's not what I really expected it was going to be, but it's going to be an unboxing nonetheless. And it's going to be two of my uh, favorite figures from the Clone Wars era. That's right. We're going to be unboxing some Clone Wars era figures. And uh, so let's go ahead and get right to it and bring them right in. So we're bringing in Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Maul, or Maul, from the mission series to Mandalore from the Clone Wars, I, when Maul uh, fought Obi-Wan. So yeah, nice uh, packaging. I like this whole, uh, this whole vibe here. I mean, it's an, it's an older, older figures. So the, uh, obviously the packaging is going to have that retro vibe to it. The other ones in the series are the uh, Clone Trooper and the droid, Battle Droid, Han Solo and Chewbacca, and uh, C-3PO and R2-D2. I really like the um, Clone and the Battle Droid. Yeah, the picture's nice because they use the movie uh, characters. This was issued to Australia, I believe, and I'm not really sure... How it ended up in the United States, but hey, I got my hands on it nonetheless. For as you can see, ten dollar, not a bad deal. Forgot to take that off. <laughs> That's okay. So yeah, what I meant was it's going to be a little bit of something different. Is it's already open? Didn't know that when I bought it, but nonetheless, still going to be a great video because two great figures. Like I said, two of my favorite figures, fan favorite figures. Uh, let's go ahead with the packaging. The packaging is great. We have Darth Vader on the top, which they use him a lot in, in the classic packaging. On the uh, right side, we have Darth Maul. Looks like from the um, Solo movie, I would say, is when they use his picture. Uh, I don't believe this is from A Phantom Menace. And then obviously Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ewan McGregor on that side. Very nice, very nice packaging, Hasbro, obviously. I like how it is packaged, nonetheless, how it's been inserted into there. And yeah, you got the little description on the back. I'm gonna take a minute to read that. And as I said, they use the, the movie pictures, which I, I really love, especially where it's a Clone Wars, you know, kind of confrontation. So yeah, issued to Australia. And opened in the United States. Well, opened there and then opened again here. Let's go ahead and get it open. I like the Mustafar feel to the uh, to the package. You could kind of use that for a stand, I guess. I think that was probably the whole idea behind that was to use the uh, package as maybe a backdrop. Which, now that I think of it, I might try and do. One piece of plastic keeping the figures in. Let's go ahead and get the lightsabers out first. Just kind of lift them up. We're going to sit those right down until we get the figures out. We'll examine the lightsabers last. Let's get Darth Maul out first. Very nice, just kind of basic movements. These are, uh, as I said, older figures. I believe 2013-ish, 14, something like that. But yeah, paint job's great. I mean, the figures look great. But yeah, just basic up and down arm movements, up and down leg movements. Maul with the mechanic legs after being severed in half by Obi-Wan Kenobi in a Phantom Menace comes back in the Clone Wars, spoiler alert. Very nice. <clears throat> Very solid piece of plastic, nothing like the soft plastic that uh, I've been encountering recently. 
prime example that they don't make things like they used to. Once again, another basic figure. Like just an up and down leg and arm movement. The tunic is kind of uh, weird looking with that front piece. But I've, I've taken some pictures of Obi-Wan and he's actually very photogenic. So, uh, as you can see, he looks great. Here's in the face and you got the Clone Wars armor. Yeah, looks great. Let's have a look at the lightsabers. We'll start with Obi-Wan's lightsaber. Very nice. See the control box whale. The grips, the thin neck. Obi-Wan's classic lightsaber. See the blue. Very straight. Very nice. Now we'll look at Darth Maul's one half. Very nice. Wish they had included the other half, but that's okay. Very nice. Blades nice and straight. Hilt looks great. Let's see how they hold these bad boys. Only one's high grip. Kind of loose, so you have to hold them down. But yeah, you know, just your basic holding the lightsaber. Not, nothing fancy. Nothing really fancy at all. Not really made for posing. Hold some well. Maul holds his in any very nice. Maul holds his the best, probably. I've taken some photos of him too, but now that I have the uh, vintage collection, the more poseable. So yeah, very nice, very nice figures. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, a short little unboxing video of some two of my favorite characters we have that were released in 2013 to Australia and made it all the way here to the United States. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Maul from the Mission to Mandalore series. Very nice figures. Very nice lightsabers. Very nice all together. Hey ladies and gentlemen, if you want to head over to my Instagram and check out some of my photography, Luke underscore photography walker, that'll be where you'll find it. If you want to hit the like and subscribe button here on YouTube, it'll be much appreciated. I'm having a lot of fun doing these. So uh, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Check me out on Instagram, Luke underscore photography walker. And as always, may the force be with you.